In this video we will look at G66 with K, rectangle cutout. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released. As we continue our look at the patterns available to us, in this video we will be discussing G66 with K, Rectangle Cutout. We saw G66 in the last video, and we will expand on the same code by adding a K parameter. The parameters for G66 with K are I, J, P, Q, and K. This version of G66 is used to punch out a square or rectangle cutout without leaving any material on the table. So let's break this down. I is the length of the hole to be punched. J is the angle of the hole. P is the length of the punch used. Q is the width of the punch used. K is the width of the hole to be punched. What this version of G66 does is punch out a square or rectangle hole that we define by using a smaller tool. It will automatically calculate the number of hits both horizontally and vertically to complete the hole, and will make sure there's overlap between hits. So when would we use this code? Let's go straight to an example. If we look at this drawing, we see that we have a rectangle hole that is 3 inches by 2.25 inches. The top left corner of the hole is located at x2, y, 5.75. Now let's say we don't have a rectangle punch that size. So there is no way to punch it with a single hit. On the drawing we also see that we have a 1 inch square punch in station T201. The G66 with K code will help us punch out the rectangle hole with a smaller tool. Let's open up Punch Sim and write a program for this example. G72 X2 Y 5.75, which is the origin of the hole. G66 I3, which is the length of the hole. J0, which is the direction of the hole from the starting point. P1, because the length of our tool is 1 inch. Q1, because the width of the tool is 1 inch. Or we can omit the Q altogether since we're using a square punch. K2.25, which is the width of the hole. And T201, which is the station number. The sign of the P and Q respects the same rules as G66 shear line code. That is, both P and Q must have the same sign, both positive or both negative. The way to determine the sign is to look at the direction of the cut from the origin point, and decide if we want the hole to the right or left of that line. To the right makes P and Q negative, and to the left makes P and Q positive. In this case, we want P and Q to be to the right, so P and Q are negative. When we simulate, we see that the hole was punched completely using multiple hits. If we change the P and Q to positive, we can see that the punching would be on the other side. Note that when we use G66 with K, similar to G66 shear line, I must be at least one and a half times P. In other words, the length of the hole punched must be at least one and a half times the length of the punch used. Also, K must be at least one and a half times Q, so the width of the hole punched must be at least one and a half times the width of the punch used. When using G66 with K, you cannot use the option D which is available in G66 Sherlock. That covers the G66 with K rectangle cutout command. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below or email us directly at support at cncsoft.com. 
See you soon in the next video as we continue our punch programming course series. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released.